morning, guys. This is Ginger Cook. If you're watching this um, uh, on on YouTube, if you're watching this, um, this uh, John and I are probably are traveling somewhere, and we decided that when we either we're traveling or maybe somebody's sick or there's some reason, maybe we don't know for whatever reason we can't do a live show. We, and we do a pre-recorded one. We thought it'd be fun to have some 10-minute um, giveaway paintings. Okay. And how this works is, you look in the description below, uh, follow the link. We have a certain amount of time that this contest is good for, but it is for our, our viewers that normally can't watch our live shows. Though if you watch our live show and you've won a 10-minute one, we don't care, you can still enter. But we ask for one entry per person. These are six by eight little paintings. They're all, uh, it's kind of check out our channel uh, because we're gonna be releasing a lot of these um, within a few days of each other. If not every day, a few days of each other, there may be some. So uh, check back off and see what we've got going. And um, we're having just fun with it. You can see the colors we've got of, uh, on our palette. I've been just sitting here all day long doing a bunch of these. And uh, if just um, check us out at gingercooklive.gallery. And, um, and also we'll give you more information in the description below on how the contest works. Oh, did I mention you should really subscribe to our channel? Thank you. Okay, so we're um, gonna start out this painting by looking for background. And I think I need this a really dark background. And if you're wondering, where'd you get those? Where, where do you get those? These are Paramount canvas sheets. They come uh, tend to a package. You can see I've been painting all day. This is some of the paints I've been using and when we do these small ones. I'm recording a whole group of these at once. All right, so then John's going to cut them up and, you know, and we'll present them as 10-minute um, uh, uh, paintings that are, are recorded, you know, that are pre-recorded that our viewers that can't watch our live shows can win. So um, here we go. That's what these are. You can get these at Jerry's. What we do when we have some leftover paint is we'll just cover a canvas and sometimes you'll see me doodling on a few, but I'll just paint over that if I'm worried about it. Again, I want a really, really dark canvas. Well, let's see, do I have anything in here that's that dark? Oh, that's not too messed up. Well, this, this is one. Something, something's been drawn on it. But do I care? No. I'll just take um, one of my little covered towels when I'm cleaning my hands. If you guys haven't checked these out, these are fabulous. If you haven't seen these, these um, we get these. Uh, you can get these on Amazon and Home Depot and stuff. They even have them in Canada now. And they're, I think they're meant for cleaning your house. What an extraordinary thought! But they turns out they are just absolutely great for um, uh, getting paint off your hands, which is you know always helpful. I even have some in the. And, you know, they'll certainly erase chalk right like that. There we go. See, they even took a little of that paint off because I'm telling you what, they'll take nail polish off. I mean, really off a shoe or somebody said they took nail polish off the shoe. And I've actually used them for cleaning my house. But I probably, the most use is for just getting the paint off my arm that somehow I just get covered in it. So, all right, so I'm going to put all these away. You can kind of see where we're, what's inspired this whole thing. Put all these back. And I'm going to take a piece of paper like that and we're going to go ahead and paint this painting while we talk to you. Um, how's that? Kind of an abstract. Well, I've got all kinds of these ones that we're doing for uh, you know you know giving away in 10 uh, minutes. You know kind of a 10 minute picture. And uh, what's fun is that um, uh, this was one I used to do for, that I designed for our old painting party company, Merlot to Masterpiece, when they were still in business. And so this is kind of a neat one. I'm going to take some white paint, a little bit of ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, and just paint this bottle like that. Put a little purple with it, a little ultramarine blue. Um, if you haven't tried to do like a little small painting really quick, it's fun. It's, uh, it's worth doing, absolutely worth doing. And, um, I 
Let's see, I want a little green up here. I like all, I like all this because you can do, I've got a little blending medium going on here that I can do this with. And I'm just sort of playing with this bottle. Okay, like so. Now, while that's kind of percolating, I'm going to take some cad red medium, tiny bit of yellow with it. I'm going to cover the rest of this in red paint. Cad red medium is a um, a very nice bright orange red. And look how beautifully it paints over the purple. These are Holbein paints and um, I really like them. They have, they really cover well. So I'm going to just come next to here like that. I'll have to dry it at some point, but this is my, oh, here's a little red here. I'll just put a little red right here. So I'm using Cad Red Medium, Naphtha Crimson. Uh, these are just some colors I have out on my palette. Okay. And uh, really, uh, phthalo green, uh, purple, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, cad yellow medium, yellow ochre, brown, magenta. The kind of the, you know, the, the favorites that I've been painting all afternoon. This is why you're seeing the paint just kind of like this. I'll put used up all that, so I'll put another little drop of cad red medium out. And I'm going to just take a second and dry this now. Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and I'd like to invite you to my website, gingercooklive.gallery, where we have over 300 step-by-step -step acrylic painting tutorials, anywhere from beginner one cookie lessons, what we call one and two cookie lessons, to advanced vi videos that are over four hours long. So if you've enjoyed this and you're enjoying this YouTube lesson and you want to expand your painting skills, check us out. And did you know that you have access, you can have access to all of these videos in our video lesson library, what we call the VLL, for just $9.95 for one week. Have fun. Check us out. I think you'll love it. Okay, so what do I know for sure? Well, I know that um, I want to just, you know, I've got some chalk here. I'm going to round off this bottle a little bit and uh, put a few little light, just, you know, just well-placed lines. If you're doing any kind of bottle, just as a side note, right, like that, you, you, this line should curve. Don't make it straight because the bottle's round. So if you're saying that the label's here, make sure you've curved that. We already decided to do this, okay? This I thought was a, I think we designed this for um, New Year's. It's a celebration. This is sort of a fast, but you know, maybe somebody you know is celebrating something and you might want to, and they're drinkers. First of all, that would be the caveat there, wouldn't it? If they were drinkers. Oh. Uh, Okay, so there's our our bottle. Now what I'm going to do next is take this. Um, this is a fairly stiff brush. It's, it's wet, and I've got it's very damp. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, water and kind of make a light green color. And I'm going to flick it on the. I need quite, and I need it fairly. Um, There, that's what I want. Okay, just like that. Do I want any flicked on here? Maybe a little bit flicked down here too. Okay, so it's just, it's, ooh, I like that. Let's just do that. That's fun. Um, okay, that's all we're going to do, and then we're going to dry that. 
why I swipe my finger, okay? So you, when you spattered something, make sure the hair dryer is far enough away that you don't hit it, okay? Even though this isn't a tutorial, I feel compelled to tell you what I'm doing. Hi, this is Ginger Cook. If you're enjoying this uh, video on YouTube, then perhaps you might want to experience what it would be like to have me look at your painting and make some fabulous comments or even some suggestions. Maybe some of the videos that we put up are not totally beginner on YouTube and you might feel like they're a little out of your depth. If, or maybe you just like some advice on how you could make what you've painted, which you think is great, even better. And how you get that to happen and how I can see your artwork what is to get take advantage of our personal art coaching for a month. Try us for a month on our website, gingercooklive.gallery, where we take personal art coaching to the next level with video art coaching. And you can hear more about it on our website. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to make sure that I've got the it's a little Posca pen here, so I'm going to use that to outline with. Okay. Let's see, I want to... Probably should have sketched this in with a um, with a uh, pencil. You know, one thing about Posca pens though, they erase. These marks erase, so I'm gonna just take a wet brush and erase that. Okay, because they they will erase till they're dry, which is very way cool, I think. So this is why we always dry between layers when you're doing anything with, when I'm doing anything with stuff like that. So all right, we're just gonna erase that like this. All right, there we go. Erased. All right. So now let's put that away and. Um, Use a small little brush. We'll just finish this off with a small little brush. I don't know. I thought this was sort of a fun, fun picture. Um, it's a fun, you know, if there's something you want to win, you know, just enter our contest for our 10 minute giveaways. And, um, you know, this again is something we normally do just for the live audience. But um, uh, in this case, we are. Um, Uh, uh, offering it to our um, folks that are um, watching us uh, pre-recorded. All right, so this is, there we go. This is just needed to do that. We didn't need this too perfect, but we needed it. Somehow we needed something up here. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So I'm just putting the highlights in here. This is very abstract, you guys. Very abstract. You want to keep this just as as simple as possible. Okay. Now let's take our. Anybody ever? Um, uh, Um, held a football. Bet most of you have. If you haven't played football, I bet you've at least picked one up, right? Football, kind of American football. You know, this shape. Kind of the shape, like the shape, like an eye. Um, that's what, um, you know, olives oftentimes are like. These are sort of almost football shaped. Oh, I'm going to make this one taller. Now we need a little green. 
a little brighter green. This is people never think of stuff as having sh shadows, lights and darks and shadows, but of course they do. And um, um I love this. Uh, this phthalo green that um, Holbein makes is just awesome. Let's see, I want it a little bit lighter. Okay, so there we go. That's sort of fun. Rinse the brush and dry it one more time. This is, a, you know, I've, I've got a few other pieces that I've done that are, you know, for our 10 minute ones that are more abstract. I think that that's, I think I wanted to make sure that we had a few of those. Um, even though you see me put all these layers of colors on this. Um, that was very important to me that we have this, um, uh, we have a variety of, of different styles of artwork. Um, and this is something you normally don't see me do, but that's okay. There we go. I'm out of yellow. Did anybody else notice that? So I'm going to put the yellow back in the... Here goes the pimentos. I despise these kind of olives with the pimentos. I like green olives, but I really hate the pimentos. Please notice that all the little olives do not have pimentos in the center. Um... Maybe that one's over there. Okay, so there's our olives. Here's our little stick sticking out up there. Now that we've got the uh, the the vase drawn in or the martini glass, we can. Um, I want to make that base a little bigger here. I've got the dark here. I'm going to come around here like this and just do a little bit of a shadow under here like that for balance. We're going to do this right like this. This is simple, simple stuff. These were just fast little 10 minute, supposedly 10 minute paintings that, um, you know, we could um, keep as a giveaway. Uh, and you know, very, very, like I say, very, very abstract. Now here's some more painted on celebrationary stuff. And of course you could put anything you wanted on the label. That would be um, that would be fine too. Nothing wrong with that. You could just do whatever you felt like on your label. All right, so I'm going to just um, I call that pretty much done. I don't know if I want to lighten the, the background here a little bit or not next to these. Just kind of brighten this up a bit. You know, it's funny about orange. Um, you know, curly's dry darker, so I might want this a little lighter over here where this is. Just to lighten this up a little bit. 
never hurts. It reds one of those colors which you can do a couple coats with and it's it's effective. I think I want a little bit of a red highlight somewhere on this bottle too. All right, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to call it, um, we're going to call it done. And uh, here we go. It would be nice if this were straighter right here. If I had this straighter, I'd like it better. Okay. And the same thing with this bottle. Do you guys ever do anything with tape? Have you ever done anything with tape? Where you um, tape tape your, your bottle or something like that? Let me just show you a trick real quick and then we'll call it done, right? doesn't really matter if it's 10 minutes, does it to you? Do you care, really? I want YouTube. I'm sorry. If they're watching this video, of course they're watching the video. How else would they even know? All right, start again, start again, start again. All right, sure, okay, start again, all right? Wait. Take 900, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Ginger Cook. And as John pointed out just a minute ago behind the camera, that if you're watching this video, of course you're watching the video. So rather than say that, I just want to say, if you happen to be on YouTube and you're seeing me now, which of course you are, you wouldn't be seeing me. <laughs> Did you know? We have on Facebook the best painting club ever. It's called the Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club, and we've opened the doors for new members. And why do you want to join? Well, it's free. That's fun. Two, you can get um, help with your artwork on Wednesdays if you've got something you're working on, some painting, and you want th some really lovely artists because we have a big group. And if you put up the capital letter CC in your comments on your under your, your description, you'll be amazed at the, uh, the help that you can get from all these other acrylic artists. And guess what? If it isn't love, if it isn't kindness, if somebody doesn't have something nice to say, they don't say it. Uh, we've had our members say this is the kindest, nicest place to be. Um, we think you're going to like it. Also, if you kind of want to know what John and I are up to, this is the place where we post some of our uh, videos. We also are going to start be doing live videos um, uh, just for our Facebook Club members and kind of give you the heads up on what's going on. So this is the group to be in. Come join us at Ginger Cook Live Acrylic Painting Club on Facebook. All right. <clears throat> I want a straighter bottle on that side, so I'm just going to pull some tape right here like this and say this is my straight edge. And I want a piece of tape going this way too, like like this would be a continuation of that. Here's my purple. Sometimes if you just, you know, sometimes you will find that you do need a straight edge. Look, look what that did for that. Isn't that nice? Didn't mean to stick it down to the paper, but there, look, see? Just cleaned up, cleaned up that whole, that whole edge to me, you know? And I think that that's kind of cool. And, um, Uh, just there really is not supposed to be that much detail in these, but there you go. All right, I'm just going to sign it right here. And um, we'll call it done. If, uh, if you like this idea of these little fast 10 minute paintings, most of the stuff I have is flowers, and I know that, right? Most of it is flowers, but if you like this, um, um, if you like our 10 minute, um, you know, paintings like that, if you think that they're fun, um, you can go to, we have tons of them, believe it or not, because um, on, on our YouTube channel, we have a pile of these, you guys. And um, you can go to our Facebook um, 
Pinterest page, rather. I go to my Pinterest page, Ginger Cook Live, and look under the board 10 minute paintings, and there's over 60. And then they're all linked to the, the where they, you can find them on YouTube, the actual place, because they're usually part of another lesson. And this is a very rare thing we do when they're standing alone in individual, um, individual uh, pictures. All right, so let's move this out of the way. There's our finished product. I don't know. Maybe you want, okay. I want to do this too. You're going. No, she can't stand it, can she? I want to do this too, right here. Okay. This did not look straight. It didn't look straight to you either. I know it didn't. So we're going to do that too. There. Sorry. I needed that straighter. Of course, then that the red isn't straight. So you're going, yeah, but the red isn't straight then. Yeah, okay. So we'll come back and do a little red next to here like that. All right, just a little bit. So I like to clean up the lines sometimes. It just, it never hurts to just clean up the lines just a tiny little bit. And then she's going, oh, but she's doing something else. Yeah, there, there. All right, that's it, you guys. That's our um, bottle. And, uh, you know, please subscribe to our channel. And have fun, you know, have fun with all the, make this a little wider. Okay. Have fun with all these great 10-minute uh, paintings. I think that you guys um, um, might enjoy them and, you know, try them yourself. Thanks.